When it comes to games based on comic book heroes, the bar's been set high. You can probably blame recent Batman games for that. And even though he can swing from freaking buildings, Spider-Man doesn't quite clear it in The Amazing Spider-Man. Even so, he doesn't like crash into a wall either. Just released in anticipation of the new movie, The Amazing Spider-Man is a game you're going to be all too familiar with. It's basically a standard 3D beat-em-up, very similar in structure to a lot of other games, and specifically, a lot of games based on movies. The team at Beanox wasn't particularly ambitious with its design, but it has added a few twists to this otherwise common gaming blueprint. The game is set in the immediate aftermath of the film. That means if you're a huge Spider-Man fan, you might want to hold off on playing this before you see the movie. Uh, there are spoilers all over the place, so keep that in mind. In fact, early on, Emma Stone is attacked from behind by a drunken Kirsten Dunst. What? What a twist! Anyway, here's the deal. You control Spider-Man through around 20 missions, the majority of which are spent beating on enemies. In terms of the gameplay, this is the same kind of button mashing you've done before. What makes it interesting is all the presentational flair. Spider-Man bounces between bad guys like a pinball. He jumps around like a luchador on a sugar high. And yes, he does a mean Hurricane Rana. Although you're not doing anything all that different from other titles, the on-screen results make it a lot more fun. Spider-Man has a pretty impressive offensive arsenal, and it's a lot of fun to use it, especially in combination with all the crazy acrobatics, which are easy to pull off. It all feels very smooth and satisfying in motion. Of course, if you're more of a silent killer, that's cool too. In fact, the game lets you attack with both that flashy offense or with stealth. Spider-Man can crawl along the ceiling and hit an unsuspecting bad guy with a whole wad of fist web. That's as much fun as the showy stuff. Throw in the combos, which lead to signature moves, and you have an enjoyable combat system, despite the fact that it really isn't all that original or unique. But here's the thing with The Amazing Spider-Man. As much fun as it can be, it's a pretty average game overall. In fact, at times, it's... It's worse, especially when there are glitches and bugs and parts of the level that never appear. Obviously, nothing is perfect. Not even Spider-Man. 